Hi, today I want to talk about what's in your hand. When God spoke to Moses through the burning bush, he gave Moses an instruction to go get the Israelites out of Egypt. But like we all naturally do when handed with a big task, is immediately feel inadequate, unable to perform, and just want to decline the offer altogether. But this is what God told Moses after he gave him many, many excuses. He simply asked him, what's that in your hand, Moses? And Moses showed him his rod. At this time, as we know, Moses was very old, probably in his 80s, so he had his walking stick with him. And God used that, which for me is a good reminder that God doesn't work on our time, but his time, so just keep waiting. But back to the story at hand. So God told Moses to throw his rod on the ground, and he did. And God transformed it into a snake and told him, have no fear, Moses. I will use this rod of yours to get my people out of Egypt and your brother Aaron will do all this speaking on your behalf because one of the reasons Moses was declining the offer was because he had a problem with stammering as he spoke but God told him you know what I got this just trust me so to all those who've asked me about purpose I need you to know one thing the first thing you must do is to go back to God for you already had that planned out for you way before you're in your mother's womb our role when we are born is to find out why and we can only find that answer in God, for he created you, he created all of us, and he has already written your story. So our role is to seek him earnestly and ask him to reveal that purpose. And then secondly, most of the time the purpose he has for our life can be so unexpectedly out of this world. And like Moses, um, you shouldn't be afraid because you already have the tools within you to fulfill the purpose God has for you. So go back and ask yourself, what is it I'm holding in my hand? Is it my law degree? Is it my business? Is it my family? Is it my children? My love for fashion even, or music? That which you're holding on to so tightly is what God will use to change generations. If you will let him. You could be the next Tasha Cobbs or the first designer who makes clothes that remind women of who they are in Christ and their true beauty. I mean, you could have, you could adorn scriptures on the tags inside. So each time they wear it, they remember, I am a daughter of a king. And I know for me, that's definitely one thing I'd like to do in the near future. It could also be a relationship that God could use to minister to millions, but you're holding on to it so tightly. Let it go, like Moses, and ask God to do with it as he pleases. And watch how his hand will move right before your eyes. Surrender is the beginning of your elevation. Be blessed.